I'm hoping with these last few nights of minus 20 to minus 30 lows that the ice has finally frozen enough for me to safely go ice fishing and ice camping. Before we do that, we're gonna go check the ice. So I'm gonna get suited up in my astronaut suit and, uh, and go do that. One small step for man. Actually, I look more like the Michelin man. So the good news is it looks like there's been people out here already. Uh, that kind of puts my mind at ease knowing that obviously it's been safe ice already and looks like there's been a couple different groups out here so far, so that's good news. But all joking aside, this big, stupid, bright orange suit that I wear, it's actually called a floating suit. So if I do fall through the ice, this thing's gonna keep me floating and uh, you know help me survive, help me get out of the ice. I also use this, this is called, this is called the spud bar. It's basically just a big heavy ice chisel. Um, I use this to strike the ground in front of me just to make sure that there's no soft spots. Just gotta make sure the ice is safe before I bring 100 pounds of gear down this hill. So let's do that. See, this looks a little bit sketchy. Oh, look, there had been a crack there. Bunch of water coming up, so uh, we're gonna not take our chances here and uh, and uh, check that spot out with the spud. Pretty good here. Pop. That about seven and a half inches of ice. That's more than enough for me to feel very comfortable right here. And let's see how deep we are. 69.9 feet. Pretty good. Got some marks on the bottom. Whew. Hard to believe it's minus like 25 out here, I'm sweating buckets. Oh, oh it feels good. Huh. Before we uh, we really start getting our setup complete, uh, might as well get a minnow down there, maximize the chance at catching dinner. Got some emerald shiners. Gonna hook them right behind the back. through the back like that. There she be. Let's get her down there. Oh, we got fish on the screen already. That is a good sign. Oh. Wow. That was quick. That was, took all of five seconds to lose my first minnow over here. Jesus.
think it's safe to say I can take off my survival suit at this point. Oh, we just missed a hit. Come on. Oh, here we go. Come on. Keep chasing. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. First fish of the year hooked up. What do we got? Doesn't feel too big. That's okay. Stay pinned, buddy. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, man. There he is. Come on up. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect eater. Come on, bud. Come on up. Oh, he's rolling. Come on. Come here. <laughs> We're on the board. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful little laker. Oh, my God. We, we had him by the skin of his teeth that look how he was barely hooked <laughs> there you go guys first fish of 2022 got ourselves a dinner you can see the minnow in there <laughs> all right well let's get this guy uh disposed of and drop down another minnow unreal i'm pumped Life is good, man. It's comfortable. Got food. Caught a fish. One last step. Winter Crocs, baby. Don't even need to put them on sport mode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great, now that we got that first fish on the ice, takes off all the pressure. Got dinner, figured it out. I live in Ontario, and um, when ice fishing, we're allowed to use two rods. So I got the minnow, obviously. And for my second rod, I got this jigging spoon. This is called a buckshot. This was my money maker all summer. So I'm gonna see how she does through the ice. Eat it. Oh, oh yeah. What? Bruh, what is going on? Getting close to dinner time now and when we still have some daylight outside, wanna get this fish all cleaned up and ready to go for the grill. Of course, I forgot a cutting board. Stomach is just filled with smelt. Tons of little smelt. Look at this one. Oh, it's a unit. Oh, yeah. That's what they're eating. That's what's down there. Tons of these freaking smelts. Man, look at them all. That is gnarly. <laughs> all right. Tonight I'll be cooking a lemon garlic trout with rice.
Oh, that was so good. Well, there's still a chance we can catch a burbot. Burbot o'clock right now. Still got the minnow down in there on the bottom. So, you never know. Night could, our night could turn around here, one bourbon at a time. Man, it's so nice to be out here again. A couple more fish would have been nice, but hey, we got one. We got dinner. Finishing up my tea here. We'll call it a night pretty early. Do my best to get up at sunrise for the lake trout bite. My experience typically, the earlier the better with lake trout, right when the sun comes up. It's your best bet. So that's the plan. Oh, yeah. Also, what I wanted to mention, you guys, if anyone out there is planning or looking to do an overnight trip in their ice fishing tent, um, Make sure you have one of these bad boys. Make sure it works. That's a carbon monoxide detector. Um, it's like 30 bucks. <laughs> Save your life. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. My heater turned off. Everything is so frozen. Oh no. Quarter after six. It's cold. Got down to minus 30 last night. I'm feeling it right now. I gotta pee. Yes. Damn. That's all new. I don't know what time the heater turned off at, but. The good news is we got the heater going. We're up before sunrise. That's all good. Um, bad news. I uh, can't find my coffee. Yes! Oh. The game has changed. Something right off the bottom. Probably gonna be a burb. Yep. There we go. 
It's not a bad way to start the morning. Come here, buddy. That's a nice looking fish, that's for sure. Cool patterns on these guys, though. Really eely like. It's not a bad little guy, though. I'll get you back there, fella. See ya. Greasy. Greasy way to start the morning. Man, it would have been great to catch more than those two fish, but at the end of the day, two fish is better than zero. I'm gonna cut my losses here. I'm gonna pack up my stuff. And I hit the road. It's gonna be a long season. The ice just got saved now, so lots more adventures to go. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.